Hello. We'd like to show you the, uh, the latest little gimmick used by Steedcraft to make the production of your lost patterns for lost wax casting simple, fun, easy to do and cheap to do. The pattern, which could be something like this, is being produced on, on, the, on this machine and to do it the starting point is the data, the computerized file, which is in G-code format and you've got probably by downloading from the net or if you're up to it you can produce your own by 3D CAD drawing and then putting it through a slicing engine which gives you the, the G-codes. The machine can be fed from a computer where these codes will be stored in the computer if you want to work independently you can put the SD card into your system controller and as you can see those codes will be used to control the motions of the system to produce your model. At this stage the, the data has been perhaps given to you on the, via the, the, the web, via the net and this very attractive, I think, design is one-to-one -one straight off the net in an earring shape like that, designed by Gaurav Loyalka. And thank you to he or she for that design, which I, I find quite attractive, although I don't wear earrings. And they can be, or the, the codes can be, scaled very easily to produce larger versions like this for a pendant or a big and thickened version like this to make a key fob. Fine entertainment for young grandchildren if you've got, uh, if you're lucky enough, they'll come and drive the magic machine and produce all sorts of gubbins like this. But the special thing about these, when they're produced for lost wax, is that they're made in a special filament. There's a new filament called Mold Lay, which now is almost a, a, a look-alike wax. It can be melt. It will melt out. It burns out, leaving a nice clean mould in the way that PLA doesn't. And if you don't like the shape on the texture, particularly because it will be seen that I, I, I print onto a cold bed. If you don't like the the um, texture and you you want to embellish the design then the filament is very compatible with modelling wax. The, the filament doesn't uh, melt until about 165 degrees C. Modelling waxes are, are, are well uh, workable between 60 and about 85 degrees C, so you've got this big differential for modelling the, the wax, but the skeleton staying nice and stable under, underneath your work. And you can add to it. Adding is better. Added, additive uh, waxing is better than cutting this uh, plastic. Because like all these uh, filaments, they're they're squidgy. They don't work very nicely in terms of filing and whatever. So your enhancements will are likely to be additive. And the machine is just about ready to finish another one.